How's it going guys, David here, and welcome to a new lesson in the YouTube Ranking Masterclass uh, 2.0. So today I'm gonna be talking about uh, doing some research and how you can really potentially have the possibility to have a viral video. So um, there is a little bit of research that you can do really simply um, starting today, right now after you watch this lesson, to go out there and potentially start getting thousands and thousands of views on a video so um, and this will work across any niche this is a way you can you know do the research no matter what niche you're in even if you're brick and mortar this will actually give you ideas uh, and content ideas and how to how to actually lay out a video so that you can potentially like I said go viral so we're just gonna start on YouTube here for the research and what we want to do is just come up here we're gonna type in something in our niche so I'm just gonna start off and I'm gonna type in keto. And we'll just go ahead and do a search on keto. And then we'll come up here to the filter section. And we'll go ahead and filter that by either this month or this week. Um, I like to find stuff that is really fresh. So I'm gonna go by this week. And then I'll click the filter again. And then we wanna uh, you know, sort it by view count as well. So now what we're gonna find is all the videos in the last week that are getting the most amount of views. So now what I can do is take a notepad or something and make a list of these um, or click on them and put them in a notepad on my computer with the link so I could go back and analyze them later. Um, and what I like to do is uh, make a list of the top five videos for a specific keyword search um, by current week and view count. Um, I like to do that for a week and then I'll go back and see which videos are still in the top five and then I'll go back and look at videos that have fallen off. And I'll look at the ones that stayed in the top five. Maybe they've gone to top the top number one, or maybe they're staying in the same position and new stuff has come in. Um, but what I'll do is keep a kind of a track record of that stuff for these specific keywords up here. And then I can go back and for a channel or brand I'm building, I can remake or recreate those videos within the last week that are getting all those views. I can recreate that content for my own channel and then, you know, the algorithm will see this and they'll know that it's content that's that's been getting a lot of traction out there. And you could potentially start getting thousands and thousands of views. Obviously, you'd really need to be careful when you're doing this on a channel that you're, you know, building a brand with so that you um, don't have a video that goes viral that that that's terrible and, and gives your brand a bad name or something like that. So be mindful of that um, because this this little research um, technique right here can potentially get you a lot of views on your channel. So uh, be mindful of the content, make sure it's good content and, and accurate. Do your research. Um, but this is what I like to do. Find uh, the top five for a certain keyword, make a list of those top five, sorted by view count by the current week, and then see which ones stay on the top and then recreate that content and then repost it. Um, on my channel, then I'll go ahead and, and see what, what works. Um, and then what you need to do is, after you've created some of those videos and, and put them out there, uh, look at your analytics and whichever videos do the best, recreate more of those videos on your channel and then and then really figure out how to, how to build that content around what is working um, because you've had a little bit of time to, to view those tests on those, all those different videos you've put out. So it, you know, it can be a process doing all this research, but simple research can potentially get you a lot of views overnight when you recreate some of this content that you find. So, um, and like I said, we'll just go into this too, uh, before I go, we'll work if you have like a brick and mortar business as well. So for example, we'll do Texas ribeye, for example. Texas ribeye and then we'll make sure our filters are set for this week and then view count. Nothing found for Texas ribeye. So let's find uh, Texas food maybe and then make sure our filters are set. So Texas food. So now what we've done is we've found all these videos that have come out really recently uh, that are getting a lot of views. So if I was a, a restaurant in Texas, um, I could figure out a way to incorporate this type of content into like a like a promotional video I do for my YouTube channel or something like that to try to get a lot of attention. So, you know, you could just analyze all these top top five to top 10 videos and uh, just make a list of of these um, on your computer or, you know, in a notepad and then go back and watch these and just really figure out how you can tie that content in with your brand. So, like I said, this works with any niche. You can, you know, if you're in fishing, for example, so if I type fishing, 
set my filters for this week and then by view count and then now I can see all the fishing videos that are getting a ton of views so you know 800,000 views in the last few days so you know a lot of these are video games here uh, so again make a list of these top five videos and do it for a week um, you could recreate one of these videos every single day if you really wanted to. And the way you can find a lot of that content are, again, sites like Pexels. So if I come onto a site like Pexels and I type in fishing, these are different images that I can use for free. So if I wanted to create a thumbnail, um, and then I got videos here that I can use for fishing as well. So maybe I have a fishing brand, uh, maybe I have a, a like a local tour company in my area. Um, what I could do is like, for example, top five fishing. So if I was like a tour operator in a certain part of the country maybe, um, and, I, and I did like a top five uh, fishing video um, that had some knowledge about fishing in it, uh, and that video potentially took off on my channel uh, that, that's for my business, you know, my local touring company, then I could get a lot of new customers that way. So fi really figure out ways to incorporate trending content into your brand or business or online brand, whatever that is. Um, it doesn't matter whether it's local or online. You know, this stuff works across the board. Um, so really easy way to go ahead and find really anything that is trending uh, for video content. So just go to YouTube, search up anything in a niche, sort it by view count, and then current week or current month, and then recreate some of that content and see what works on your channel. Um, again, reminder, make sure to make make that content valuable and uh, you know, don't just put out crappy content or you could you know, ruin your channel. So um, with that in mind, we'll see you in the next video, guys. Take care. And if you have any questions, go ahead and email me. I will put that email in the description below this course so you can uh, get a hold of me. Have a great day. We'll see you in the next one.